Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We're gonna be taking on the Candelave City Gym. I think I've already looked at this sign once before. Byron, the man with a steel body. That sounds hot. But he's got a lot of iron in his blood. Hope you're ready for a gym puzzle, cause we got one. So steel type Pokemon are the gym Pokemon of the day. So we'll have to hit them long and hard. We will do that. And normally I would switch up my team to give the other Pokemon a shot, but to be completely honest, the other Pokemon that I've been swapping in and out aren't really effective at all. And I don't want this to take forever. So as much as I would love to give them a chance, I also don't want to give them a chance. So there's that. Well, you know, you should give a chance. Liking this video, commenting on it if you want, maybe subscribing, telling all your friends. That would be lovely and wonderful and amazing. And I would love you and think you're wonderful and amazing if you did it. So there's a huge, weird uh, ground butthole we will hopefully avoid. I also swapped around moves a little bit. Wanted to have more ground and water type moves available. This gym, as you can see, is filled with steel types and they're pretty nasty. So you're gonna wanna be careful and make sure you bring out a good amount of potentially fighting types, water types, fire types. In this case, Steelix probably knows Sturdy, which is really annoying. Yes, it does. And we hate that. So of course they're gonna be using steel moves. They're gonna be using ground type moves, rock type moves, etc. A lot of them are Pokemon that, for the most part, have come from the, probably the rock and ground tree. That's where they started, and then their evolutions are typically the ones that will be laced with steel. Okay, so Samuel wants to learn Earth Power, which is great, because I just taught it Bulldoze. I love that. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And as you can see, his special attack is a little bit better than his regular attack. So I love that I just wasted, I want to say a thousand Poké Dollars on that TM. Doing great. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Guys, everything's fine. We're doing great. So Ricky goes down. He was not a hard enough of an opponent. Is there anybody else up here on the, yes. So I don't know, this gym puzzle isn't really, I don't want to underestimate the puzzle because I know that the moment I do that, I'm going to get lost. I mean, I know I'm going to get lost anyway. That is a thousand percent chance of happening. But in general, it's all about, for some reason, going up and down these lifts. Actually having Dimitri right here is a really poor choice. It's very weak too. Rock type attacks. So this could potentially hurt if we're not gonna outspeed this Onyx. Yes, so. Well, that wasn't too bad actually. Convenient though. Onyx being as long and hard and imposing as it is, it's actually really weak. I don't remember exactly what it was, but in Gen 1, they might've changed its stats since then, but it's stat spread in Gen 1, it was weaker than quite a lot of other Pokemon, which you wouldn't expect it to be, but it is. So poor Onyx, it's kind of a, it did it dirty. So yeah, we're all about riding these weird lifts, which actually work really quickly. And I wish that the rest of the lifts in the game did too, because it's kind of annoying having to go on the slow ones like Fatina, Fantina had in her gym. I cannot talk. I called her like every combination of her name incorrectly. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Craig in there. I'm probably just going to finish out the gym with these six, besides the final battle, which will just be the traditional trace a trace, twa twa, three on three, for those of you who enjoy Portuguese. And sometimes the Pokemon in this gym aren't steel type at all, or even remotely close to rock or ground, which you would think would make sense. So we have Skaroopy here, which I believe is poison and bug. 
Skarupi, in our case, Scarlet, uh, sucks. But the evolution of Skarupi, which we haven't seen yet, I don't think, is really good. So, you know, maybe in a future life, we'll have the opportunity to evolve Scarlet and make her not so useless. We will see. I don't know if this is our first action seeing Infernape, but uh, yeah, so we just evolved Charlie last episode. Pretty darn cool. It's unfortunate though, Flamethrower is a great move, but Charlie is more of a physical attacker and Flamethrower being a special move doesn't quite utilize his stats in the best way yet. But it was enough to take down Ace Trainer Caesar Salad. How do we feel about Salad? Do we like Salad? I love Caesar Salad. Give me a nice good chicken Caesar Salad. Delish. Although there's nothing more disappointing in my life than when I go to a place and I order a chicken Caesar salad, especially if it's a to-go order, and then I just get lettuce and Parmesan cheese. That's, who's that for? You know, who's that for? It's for nobody. Nobody wants that. Also, I don't know exactly where I'm going, so I'm just gonna kind of wander around. Okay, so once again, another member of the working force trying to tell us how important it is that labor is the answer. Interesting, Mr. Gerardo. But yeah, this is probably gonna be the team for now that does this gym. It's not gonna be the, the final team, so I just wanna be clear about that. I don't know if I misspoke, but I don't intend to stop mixing the team up as things go along. There's actually a couple Pokemon that I'm considering that I'd like to hopefully find eventually, which I have not yet seen. Maybe hatch some eggs coming up, who knows? Some eggs? What's our favorite way to have eggs? Fried? Over easy? Over hard? Do you like to have drippy eggs? Where you can puncture the weird zit of breakfast and then have some delicious toast with it? Omelette? Scrambled? I love a good omelette talking to someone today and the concept of concept omelets were the topic of our conversation and it made me very upset because I'm not much of a breakfast person I don't really care for it don't ever normally have much of an appetite at that point of the day but then again you can eat omelets whenever you want I think breakfast is more of a state of mind It's what you eat when you eat it. You know, like if you have pizza for breakfast, which I would love to do. If you wake up and it's your first meal of the day and you're having pizza, that's breakfast. Also, this gym is super boring. This is like the seventh Onyx we fought. I know it's supposed to be a steel gym and there are steel Pokemon. They did introduce more, but see, this is just kind of another knock on this game is I know they're trying to be staying true to the Diamond and Pearl with the, the Sinnoh decks and stuff, but like I'm intentionally limiting myself because I want to show off Sinnoh Pokemon, but it's just, there's so many Steel Pokemon that they could have put in here that they didn't. This is so boring. Steelix, Onix. Is that all? Have we seen anything else? Oh, Skaroopy? I don't know what Byron's team was or what things looked like for this game in Platinum. There there we go, who's talking about Platinum again? But in general, like, they, they could have done such a better job. I mean, we haven't fought all the trainers yet, but I've got very low hopes. There's Bart, our first level 40 Pokemon. That's fun. Like, I'm burning through this. Also, why didn't they have, like, steel mill workers or something more, you know, unique to to this? Am I getting close to them? I feel like I'm missing a trainer. I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not fighting the boss until I've crunched all these trainers. By focusing on only one type, you can see the strengths and weaknesses of Pokemon. That makes zero sense. But yeah, they put these... Ace trainers in there? Great. 
I mean, Skaroopy is cool. Azumarill, which I believe they decided to kind of differentiate. I was talking about this just in the last episode of Pikachu and Meryl. Azumarill. Now I think picked up the fairy typing on the side, which I still don't understand what fairy types are good or weak against. I have no idea. But I'm assuming they're thinking, oh, well, it, uh, it knows Iron Tail, so that's like... Basically making it a steel type? No. Also, Bart looks awesome with its like leafy cape. It looks like we <laughs> looks like we sneeze goo on it this time around. Instead of shooting the goo, we just sneeze on him. Now is not the time in the world you want to be sneezing your goo on people. No, sir. But yeah. Bart is shaping up to be pretty deadly. I think the first time I played through Diamond and Pearl, I'm pretty sure I did have a Rosa Raid and it just nuked everything. So that might be a mainstay for the team. We'll find out. And it all started out as a Budu as well. So. Humble beginnings. Also, when I play through these gym trainers, sometimes I forget what direction I went. Because I think that's the one that takes you to the gym leader. Yes, but I don't think that I fought everybody. So... That was fun. I feel like there's one person I missed. And... Th <laughs> that really making me go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. That's fun. I'm just gonna have to go redo that. <laughs> redo that gym puzzle here in a minute. I mean, that's fine, actually. You know what? That's a good idea. Because I'm basically done with this. And I don't think that one trainer is going to knock me out. I'm going to go and heal. Listen to this beautiful, beautiful. I don't even know what other word I was going for. Beautiful was the only word on my mind. Beautiful. This beautiful serenade by the waterfront. Also, you guys are going to love what comes after this gym battle. Something that I did already when I didn't even need to. And the game's gonna make me do it again. Prepare yourselves, everybody. It's exciting. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, two boxes. All right, who do I want on my final, my final team? Steel types. So I'm gonna bring Charlie. Probably not have Charlie lead. We'll bring Busta. We're gonna be a Busta. And hmm, I'm leaning towards Bart, but I feel like Samuel will give me better results, but we already have Buster. So let's mix it up. We'll bring Bart. We'll lead with Bart. And then Craig, Samuel, and Dimitri can hit the road for now. We might have to just do one battle with just these three first. We got these two eggs, eggs, which I will eventually do something with. I promise. I actually want to show them on screen. The only downside to eggs, eggs, is they take so long to evolve. And I, if I, if I want to get it right, you gonna get it right. I have to make sure that I don't evolve them too soon. Did I fight this guy? No. Okay. There you go. Up and down, up and down. Okay. So we will do a quick. Battle here with Worker Jackson, Common Miguel. And this should be quick work for Bert. Bert's looking pretty gosh dang handsome right now, if I do say so myself. Yeah, a lot of these, I thought it said like high 30s would be good. I remember seeing that somewhere, but maybe they're referring to actual fighting of Byron. Also, does Byron, is that name like... Does that have any sort of kind of fun play on words? You know? I guess I don't really have anything on top of my head that would be better that I could think of. Let's use Ice Beam because we haven't. Also, it's consistent in this game and with Legends Arceus. I love that Floatzel shoots Ice Beams out of its butthole. Like, how awesome is that? What a chilly reminder. 
Okay. And once again, just adding to the quota of Onyx. This is what, the fourth or fifth Onyx? No, more than that. I don't know I said fourth or fifth. This is more like the ninth or tenth Onyx. Like, Steelix was a good idea. Put more Steelix in there. At least that's not boring. Mr. Worker Jackson, you got me feel. Oh, I get it. That's funny. Well, we're not going to be able to lift his spirits if you... Okay. Anyway. I don't remember which way I went. Not this way. Great. I like how I nailed the gym puzzle on my very first try. And now I'm never going to be able to do it again. Because I'm a big old dumb. Okay. So I went this way. This one's not as bad as Maylene's puzzle. But that puzzle legitimately angered me. It's like stepping in a puddle when you just put a fresh pair of socks on. That level of anger, you know? Or when somebody eats your last granola bar and leaves the box in the cupboard. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good way to start a civil war. You don't do that. Okay. So I believe that's everybody. Hopefully it is. If it's not, then I'm going to miss out on so much experience fighting seven more Onyx. Okay. So this looks like the way I went before. And hopefully my team of Pokemon that I chose, the three that I chose, are good. Because if not... My undefeated record will be challenged. Okay, here we go. Whee! There he is. Now let's see, are there any hold items that I should be... Oh, I should have got the quick clock. Dang it. I always forget. Okay, so... Do I have anything that's good? Good to hold. Hmm, I'm still looking. No. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Special moves? That could be good. I know Bart is a special move user. And Buster is kind of fragile, so we will... For the very first time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give it... A berry. Citrus berries look delicious. Okay, well, time to go ahead and not make a fool of ourselves, hopefully. I don't know what Pokemon Byron has. It's been a long time. But he has kind of mauve colored hair. That's fun. Ooh, it's 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 Roark's dad. Nice. So I guess it makes sense. Rock type, steel type. That facial hair is kind of goofy looking. It's like perfectly in line with his smile. Does anybody else shave their facial hair to look like their smile? Ooh, a bronzor. Well, it just so happens that before this battle, I taught good old bar here, Shadow Ball. <laughs> that's convenient. I forgot that I did that. But it's definitely a move that's gonna probably, ooh my goodness. It's definitely a move that's probably gonna live on Bart. I actually would really like to stall out this stand, this sandstorm. This is going to be kind of annoying. Not that it's really going to do a ton. The only problem with moves like that, I tried to stall out something else last time. Also, he you know he has a full. I think he has a full restore and a hyper potion. But the annoying thing of like things like sandstorm is that they last for like six plus turns. So you know, so sandstorm. We've also had that as one of our TMs, I believe. It will change the field. And for six turns, you'll be hurt a little bit, unless you're a rock, steel, or ground type. Also, Trick Room, I believe that changes the speed of the Pokemon. So this might make Bronzor faster than me. Yes, that's exactly what it does. That's annoying, because Bronzor, as we know, our own Bronzor, Brandy, incredibly slow. I haven't used Brandy in a hot minute, but we'll be bringing people back into the fold, no worries. I'm just gonna keep flashing them. Bird's showing off his goods. I just really love the gym leader theme. And they use the gym leader theme really well. Come on, I flashed you like four times. They use the gym leader theme really well in uh, Legends Arceus, some of the higher tier battles that you do. You can just kind of hear a little 
little tones of it. There we go. All right. So hopefully, just a little bit of a giga drain. Oh, well, so much for that. I was hoping it would miss because I guess four flashes just is not good enough. Whatever. It's just part of the battle, I guess. All right. So that does just enough that I won't be able to heal from a hyper potion. That's nice. We'll use Bard as our setup leaf. And then we will. There we go. And this should be good enough. Curse Sploosh. Bam. Gone. See ya. I wasn't even trying to be coy whenever I was picking this team. Like, oh yeah, he has a bronze or this is totally going to work. I completely forgot. Okay. So I'm trying to keep the, <laughs> the twisted dimensions. All right. Let's bring, let's bring Buster out. I'm going to try to keep the entire team alive. That's the goal. We'll see how this goes. But here we go. A formidable Steelix. I don't think Sandstorm boosts the power of moves. I think that it... Well, maybe it... I don't know. I have no idea. I'm tempted to start with a Surf because it'll probably nuke this Steelix because... I just don't know how many turns I'm going to get. I'm going to try Brick Break and see if I can do just enough damage to... Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, Earthquake. This is going to be bad. Okay, Buster hanging in there. We do have this Citrus Berry. That's a 30 HP booster. Gets us almost back to half health minus that stupid, stupid sandstorm. So hopefully Steelix is not fast than us. It'd be insane if it was. Giant Steel Snake. The Surf should take it out. Yes. I'm trying to keep everybody alive so we all get experience. Because I've done a bad job about doing that in battles. And Buster's at the buffet. And Bastiodon. Okay. So this is the... This is Byron's ace. Ace in the hole. His steely resolve. Charlie is probably a horrible choice. Because Bastiodon has insane defense. It's the evolution of Shielded. Bazinga. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get off a nasty plot and still survive. So I wish I had something... Like sturdy, but Bastiodon is incredibly slow, so maybe Flamethrower will take out most of its health. Oh, it's not weak to fire? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Oh wow. Okay, well that helps our chances a little bit. Um close combat's great, but its defense is gonna be crazy. Uh whew. you know what? We're gonna go for it. We'll see what we get. All right, it was enough. I was worried for nothing. I thought Bastiodon was steel type. And I don't know, maybe it's not weak to fire after all. But hey, we won his sturdy Pokemon. Thankfully, none of them had sturdy. That'd be annoying. Would not be happy about that. Recognition of all that power with our dirty gym badges. Ugh. But that badge is mine, mine, mine. We did it. Woo! We can use strength now. Level 70 Pokemon. Some stickers for our balls. And TM91. Which just so happens to be Flash Cannon. So, great. That wasn't too bad, but as you can see, episode's a little short and we're not going to end on this. Instead, I have a surprise. It's not. Okay. Hope you guys like reading. Mm, I would have liked to have posed next to Byron, but there really isn't anything else for me to do story-wise besides beating him. So, and Iron Island took a long time. So Barry's out here to confront us. <sighs> would have preferred a battle, but instead we're headed for the library. I don't know... If I'm going to get a chance to swap my Pokemon out, so... I'm going to do that now, and actually I'm going to do a lot of swapping because there are many Pokemons here that have not had a fair shake in a hot minute. So, let's see, we got Brandy. 
I don't intend to use any of the rest of the ones in this box because they're not really in any sort of fighting shape. So I actually probably do need to start catching some stuff. And uh, you know what? I think this is the egg we got. Egg? I don't know. Well, hold on. How do I know which one? Does it say when I got it? Oh, this is the one from Riley. Okay. You know what? We'll carry this egg around. I don't really have any of my other team members that need any experience right now. So this is the B team for now. And what better way to celebrate the B team than taking them to the library? Uh, this is required, by the way. In order to progress the story. I already came here thinking that this is when you're supposed to do it. It's not. Now is also... <laughs> What on earth just happened? He like ran into us and then turned turned in a circle. Oh, Barry's... Oh, look at Barry's sad face. Do you guys see that? He's going to get out of a lesson. I still can't really take old, old man Rowan seriously. Like the chibi style looks very silly. Legendary Pokemon that... Speaking of legendary Pokemon, what about the ones that do evolve, like Fion and Manaphy? Or there's like episodes of the anime where there's like Lugia, and there's like a baby Lugia. How's that happen? How do we decide? Oh, so apparently there are lakes all around Sinnoh, three of which there may be a legendary Pokemon at each. So it sounds like that's like me when I wake up and I check my alarm clock and it's time to, to get going for the day and I'm just like, ugh. Water under the bridge. It's a bridge underwater. I'm pretty sure Barry did get a Pokedex. He at least has a Pokedge. Yes. So to the lakes we go. Apparently we're headed to Minnesota. And we're all splitting up. Ooh, Snowpoint City. Sounds like we're headed for a chilly encounter eventually. <laughs> oh, Barry. Oh. Is that an earthquake? Let's go outside. Something crazy has happened, so let's go outside. I enjoy how casually the game just kind of hand waves away that there was... Apparently some sort of seismic disruption. But it seems it was manufactured. Uh-oh. What is going on? Old dude and kids. Oh, geez. Explosion at the lake. If you remember, there's talk of the galactic goons having a bomb. Hope they're not related. Sounds like that's gonna change our route for a moment. We must. There's all these crazy things happening. Like, all right, children, split up. Take care of these crazy things. Okay. I don't know, is there? Yes. I don't remember if this Mart has them yet? It doesn't. Great. Okay. Don't even... Okay. I'm doing okay. And the healing things. I keep forgetting that... You know, I've been playing a lot of Arceus lately. And I keep forgetting that my items in that game and my items in this game are not the same. But look. We, uh... We caught them all. All the HMs. Okay, so we will go to that lake in a moment. But first, I want to go to Celestic Town. And I want to grab some balls because I forgot. Also, I was rewatching some of my old content because that's what you do when you're bored. No, I like to proofread. No, also not that. But I realized that when I was playing through this, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to all the different places. And I made an around the outside joke and I didn't go in here. So I have no idea what's in here. Bunch of people. Hello. Great. Great. 
Good for you. The Mysteries of Sinnoh. Who is your big sister? Sounds like a nerd. Ooh, so if we would have come in here, we could see that Mesprit apparently is one of those three Pokemon. Maybe the cave drawings here in Celestic Town would have given us an idea of what we were going after. But it's kind of hard to tell. Looks like the people back then weren't very good at art. Step your game up, old people. Jeez. But I do want to buy some Dusk Balls. We're going to probably want some. So yes, when you go to all three of these... Uh, all three of these caves at the lakes, you will have the opportunity to maybe catch something crazy. Do something crazy. But before I do that, I'm actually going to hit the underground to see if maybe, maybe I can find something cool. I realize this episode's very disjointed, but I just want to go underground and play with myself. So leave me alone. All right. Get off my back. Ooh, see? When you visit the underground in different spots, sometimes it takes you to areas that you've never been before. <gasps> we got this big old, big old area. I kept saying I wasn't gonna show off any more of the underground and here I am. Here I go again. I'm gonna get my video copy written strict. It's a Houndoom, don't really want that. Are there any Sinnoh Pokemon? There's a bronze over here, I got Brandy. Ghastly, no? Okay. So these are basically all the same Pokemon I had seen before. Giraffe Rig, that's a little new. We've seen Giraffe Rig in fights. What is this weird gem room? Like, what is this supposed to even be? I don't want to get got, so... I'm going to go out this way. going to sneak out the side door. Yeah, this episode has no pace to it, so I apologize. Normally, I try to end episodes with a gym battle, but I started this one because I couldn't progress the story any further if I didn't. It's a Swablu. None of these are... None of these are ice types. Deep Sea Scale. I think that's used to evolve something. Get away from me. Get away from me! Why are Buneary in, like, the ice... The ice realm? Jack Frost. Oh my gosh. Please, just leave me alone. There's so many predators in here. Get away from me. I just want to enjoy my time underground. Without you getting on my business. Also, it looks like this is like the center area. And I don't think that we can go anywhere besides this hub. Oop, there's a Doug Trio. Remember, if you fill up that 40 bar, you can have a chance to dig up some cool stuff if you actually care about that. Hello. Thanks. I already talked about that. Stop trying to steal my thunder. All right. So... Uh, I'll try one last room. Another, uh, another one of these dumb gem rooms. Is there anything even cool in here? Like, I got super excited about the prospect of finding stuff that maybe you would have trouble finding at other parts of the game. You could come in here and do it. This kind of sucks. Unless I'm just not taking the right approach or something. Get away! Yeah, this, this is uneventful. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the gems. I'm addicted to the crystal. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So I will surface here. And I'm going to actually spend a little more time before I go to the lake. He's trying to pad out the episode. I'm not, I promise. Okay. So we want to go to Lake Verity or Valor, which I, I don't know. What am I even saying? Let's go to Pastoria City first, where we fought Crash or Wake and we were in the Marsh. I'm actually kind of curious, speaking of the Marsh, the Marshmallows. If you took that second floor and you went up and looked at the, in the goggles, you could see what Pokemon was available for the day. Is there anything of note? No? No. 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 Wow, this really sucks. Okay, awesome. That was a huge disappointment. Great. No. 
Like, I remember the marsh having better Pokemon in it. I guess Skaroopy is kind of neat. This is one of the first times you can catch one. I caught mine underground. Because I'm a bit of a player. A game player. Yeah, that was disappointing. I guess I could have done all this underground stuff beforehand. And not done it in this order. But, uh, whatever. It's an upside down kind of day. Let's put our Poketch away. You can't just leave your Poketch dangling around like that. It's bad etiquette. All right, let's try to go underground for a moment just to see. I'm just gonna go and try a couple of rooms and see if I can't find something cool. Anything that I find underground. The reason why I'm more interested, where am I? Why I'm the most interested in going to these rooms is because, or at least underground in general, is because hopefully there'll be Pokemon that are relatively close to my own level. I don't want to be grinding too much. All right, anything interesting? Nope, Geodude, not interesting. Bronzor, already got one. Rhyhorn, don't care. Skaroopy, got one already. Look at these chumps. Nope, oh boy. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the sacred geometry. Okay. All right. So, nope. Okay. That was all that was going to be. I said a couple rooms, but I said one, and I realized that all the rest of them are kind of far away. And my patience is negative a thousand. So maybe I'll just run through this grass. See if I can trigger a couple fights. Anything cool? Nope, I already have a Buizel. That's Busta. I'm starting to think that if I want anything really cool in terms of Pokemon, it's gonna have to wait until post lake encounters. We will try Ooh, and it look it turned to nighttime. But I'm pretty sure my internal clock. Oh, okay, great. I love Buizel, but not fighting two in a row. Okay, so this has been pointless. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Did not encounter anything cool. Maybe I can, uh, can I surf? Let's explore the water. See how many Magikarps and Tentacles will come after me? Like we're riding on its... Whoa. What? Is that not what I was already doing? What? And like, did I drown that Beebrill for a moment? That Justin Beebrill? And look who it is, Tentacool. Remember that episode of Pokemon in the anime where there's that giant Tentacruel that is attacking that seaside... City? How? What? What is going on? Why is there like a... Why can't I... Oh. Jesus Christo. It's amazing. Okay, so this water is just pointless. I bet I'm gonna do another tentacle. Oh, it's a wingle. Wingle! Mr. Briny's wingle! That's a deep cut. For all you Ruby and Sapphire fans. Huh? Okay. So I don't think Pastoria City is actually the closest way. Oops. Oops. Great. Uh, I don't really want to go that way. I'll just go south from Veilstone. We'll get stoned. Whee! This is great content, everybody. You're welcome. And we can ride our bicycle. We're gonna get a copyright strike. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I didn't really do anything in the... Oh, can't ride my bike. You can't ride your bike in the bushes. You remember this episode where I fought 700 things? It's one downside. There's just not really a whole lot of Sinnoh Pokemon in general. Especially ones that you have access to that like aren't like miserably hard to get a hold of. Or ones that you don't unlock until like you basically complete the Sinnoh decks. No, stop. Go away. Like completing the Sinnoh decks, you have to see like 150-ish Pokemon. So yeah, unless you really want to hunt for stuff. Unless you really want a Krikatoon. 
So you can false swipe Roark. Or Fury Cutter. That's what it was. It was Turd Cutter. Okay. So we're just going to make our way down to the lake. Nope. <laughs> we're just going to walk. Oh my goodness. I clipped my audio. That's what I get for laughing. Stop having a good time, D-Mike. Videos are meant to be about progress and nothing else. Okay. I'm having a good time. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want any of this. Graveler's cool. Golem is cooler. Graveler always looks so grumpy. Look, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. I hate this. Oh, Ponyta. I've never seen that before. I think it's cool in, uh, in Legends Arceus. You get a chance to catch Arceus Legends. You can catch a uh, shiny Ponyta. It's got blue flames. It's neat. Not like a Lonelin Ponyta, but uh, we're coming up on the lake. The lakefront. Ooh. All right, I think it's in this way, but I'm not going to take it on until next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. It's been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I'll see you later. Bye.